What's up guys, I got this drive this morning and uh, looks like it will be an exciting one because I don't know if you can spot this from the video, but right here I see an impact area. It does have a dent in the case and this is exactly where the discs will, uh, discs will be as well as the parking area in this little corner right here. So nothing left to do but to uh, open the drive up in the uh, laminar flow. So, yes, we are in fact very lucky because this is a 320 uh, gigabyte drive and uh, it only has one disk inside. I do see a little bit of damage the bottom head right there just right by the corner this is definitely a, a, a better better to be safe than a sorry type of technique I mean I wouldn't want to take a chance on uh, letting this drive spin with heads uh, that were in the drive after such a heavy impact plus um, I got a box of these 320 gig drives that don't really see much use anyways I'm gonna put the label back on like this just because I don't want to run um, this device with a casing that has a dent in it which doesn't make any sense uh, because it could be potential threat Waiting for the ready signal. Hey, we got the ID. Quickly check uh, if we have access to the user sectors.
So quickly into the process, the drive started making uh, high-pitched noises. So back to the drawing board, uh, we need to check if there is any physical scratches that we can spot on the bottom surface of the disc. For that, the disc will have to be extracted. And that makes uh, our life a little bit more challenging. So I'm currently reading and extracting MFT uh, record for the main partition and uh, it seems like it took a little bit of a hit uh, as heads are not really processing it all that well. There is our ID all coming up and head one seems to be working fine. It seems like it had a really bad patch at the very beginning that was um, uh, very tough to read but I'm pretty sure that further we get into the drive, the easier it's gonna be for it to process information. In Russia there is a saying, patience and hard work will grind everything, and <laughs> it makes a bit more sense in Russian language because it rhymes better. But I'm hoping that that drive is not gonna do the same uh, by working hard and patiently, and hopefully it doesn't start grinding itself up. But uh, with that being said, the drive is steady, the drive is uh, repaired and currently undergoing an imaging process which requires about 40 gigs of user profile data to be pulled off of it. Now I've extracted already about 35 of it, so just crunching down the five remaining ones that are a bit more problematic. Those five gigs will probably take longer than to read the rest of the drive even, but uh, that's when um, ability to adjust reading algorithms and uh, intensity uh, will come as a great addition. I'm stoked how this came out because when I did the first swap and I turned it on and it made these really weird high pitched noises, I was like, oh man, there's gotta be a scratch on the bottom surface that I didn't see or was too faded or something, but no, no amount of additional head replacements can turn back the clock and reverse the scratch. It is just, it's not possible. But I guess it's just a, it was a compatibility issue because uh, I didn't check micro jogs for uh, this, for this case, the, the swap was quick enough to uh, just try out. And uh, there we go, we got it fully, I shouldn't say fully, but we got an operational unit that is currently uh, spitting out the data as we speak. So, uh, if you guys have a problem with a uh, hard drive that died, don't be a stranger. Uh, check out the link in the description. There's a link there that you can go to our website and request this service. As always, I thank you guys for taking time of your day and watching this episode. Hit like, subscribe, notification button, and follow me on Instagram if you're into that. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow.